So guys, the very first Steam playtest for Star Wars Hunters on PC is next week. So in today's video, I just want to talk about five things that you can expect from this playtest. As since the announcement, we do have some additional details. But before I do get into those, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any more Star Wars Hunters news. But getting straight into it, one of them, of course, is better visuals across the board. The Hunters are going to look better. We're going to be able to play up to 300 frames per second, which means it's going to be ridiculously smooth. The maps have better visuals and more foliage around the place as well, so they're going to be be much improved compared to what we see on mobile and switch so just from a visual standpoint there's a lot to look forward to i'm really excited to just walk around all of the maps and just take it all in honestly it's going to be a huge upgrade so i'm very excited for that the second thing to expect is a rework of sprocket's abilities now why this is i have absolutely no idea sprocket actually got reworked either earlier this year or late last year anyway so the fact that he's being reworked again actually kind of blows my mind the initial rework was that his ultimate ability didn't used to be his turret that used to be a standard ability but it was of course far weaker but then in that rework it got made into his ultimate so what they're doing now i have no idea maybe this is to account for the fact that we haven't had a support hunter for over two and a half years but we will just have to wait and see as of me recording this we haven't been told why this is or what the rework actually is going to include so i'm very curious to find out the next thing you can expect is that pretty much everyone will probably get into this steam play test as they have actually set the bar quite high. Kaviri's confirmed this now a couple of times in the official Star Wars Hunters Discord server and the invites for that go out on the 13th so the day of this Steam playtest. So don't worry if you haven't received anything you still won't until the 13th but as soon as you get that invite you'll be able to go and download it. It will also go live at 3 p.m UTC as well and will last until 3 p.m UTC on the Monday the 16th of December. Now if you haven't signed up for this Steam playtest yet make sure you go ahead and do so if you do want a chance to get in, head over to Steam, whether that's on the desktop app or just on your web browser, go onto the Star Wars Hunters page and from there you'll be able to sign up. And you'll have until no doubt the 13th or even during the playtest to be able to do that. And now the next thing to expect whilst this goes live is the fact that we will be playing on fresh accounts. We will not be able to, during the Steam playtest, actually link our accounts from mobile and Switch. And this is to make it as fair an experience as possible and will probably be a nice way to really test balancing and matchmaking as well just from a completely fresh and new perspective so do not panic if you go onto the game and you obviously aren't playing as your own stuff this is just for the sake of the steam playtests it will likely be exactly the same in the january playtest but as soon as it does go live in early access on january 27th you will then be able to link your account onto pc the fifth and final thing you can expect with the steam playtests for star wars hunters is simply bugs and glitches star wars hunters was the very first console game Zynga ever made by putting it on the Switch and it is now also going to be their very first ever PC game as well. So the fact that this is a completely new venture for them, naturally there's going to be issues here and there anyway. But also this is ultimately just a tech playtest as well. They're going to be testing a bunch of their server capabilities, the actual game itself and so much more. So do expect bugs and glitches. Do not get annoyed by them as well. Like I said, this won't impact your stats at all. So please be constructive with any feedback you have. If you do see a bug or a glitch or anything like that, do report it as well and be nice about it because they are bound to happen. And by reporting them to the dev team, it means that they have a higher chance of getting fixed sooner for the January playtest before going live at the end of the month. So guys, they are five things that you can expect from the Steam playtest next week for Star Wars Hunters. Let me know if you think I missed out anything and let me know in the comments how excited you are for this Steam playtest. That is it from me today though. Thank you all very much for watching and may the force be with you always.